I'm preparing to uh, tap the nut 3 8 24. I've never tapped on the lathe before. Of course, I'm going to do it uh, by hand. I'm not, gonna, not powered. Uh, I usually, always, uh, tap on the mill with uh, the spindle following the uh, tap and uh, it works out well for me. But instead of trying to find uh, the center of that hole precisely on the mill, I've decided to take advantage of the lathe's natural characteristics and, uh, and tap it uh, with the tailstock following the, uh, the uh, tap. Of course, I'm turning the, um, the uh, spindle on the uh, tailstock as I, uh, well, I'm following it, following the uh, tap with it anyway. I'm not turning it at the same time. Well, it feels good, so I'm going to tap uh, two inches here and uh, it'll take me quite a while in this 12L14 and I'll, I'll be back. There's the nut. It's finished. It's tapped, chamfered. It's uh, two inches long. Gives me something to put my hand around. Finish it. It's um, good. You can see some uh, tool marks. Just I don't know if you can see them or not, but the surface is blended real well with my uh, homemade DRO on my mill. Happy with it. I guess we need to see if it's going to fit on the. Uh, You can see um, the uh, chamfered uh, thrust washer fits down into the, I mean the 82 degree angle thrust washer fits down into the 82 degree angle uh, scissor roll arm and the, the 82 degree uh, angle I cut on the nut 
uh, with a flat, of course. The, the flat, the same diameter as the uh, thrust washer, makes the uh, nut and the thrust washer uh, made up really well. So, looks good. I don't know what the minimum uh, feasible uh, neural uh, diameter is um, for uh, the workpiece, and I don't know what the maximum is. I've got kind of a vague idea, a plan, that um, I'm going to try to um, Neural two in, up to two inch pieces, but I, I don't know if that's feasible because I've never knurled a thing in my life. Well, I bet you want to know what size wrench this wound up fitting. Um, it fits perfectly too. Look at that! How could you get a better fit than that? So two inches would be um, let's see if that's two inches. Kind of guessing where the uh, neurals would be. It's not two inches yet. Two inches would be about. That may be right, right in there. So, um, I will, if that proves true, and depending on the feedback I get from uh, you guys that know, if um, two inches is uh, feasible to, to uh, neural with, with this uh, device, then uh, I will uh, cut this off. Uh, such that it does not protrude above um, uh, the uh, nut at, at the two inch mark. If two inches is too much, then I'll cut it, I'll cut it off even more. So what remains? I need to um, put the um, drill and tap the, uh, the uh, set screw holes, um, grind uh, flat on a couple quarter inch pins and press the uh, uh, the nur the press the pins in through the knurls put set screws in and then I'm ready to watch some more online uh, knurling videos try to figure out how to knurl stuff if you got any hints for me. Leave a comment. Oh yeah, one other thing. Um, I don't have a good cosmetic finish on my uh, one piece uh, uh, tool holder. So I'll um, take it, uh, I'll uh, chuck it up here in the mill and uh, put a cosmetic finish on it. I reverse board this. I think I've got a video of that. So we'll make it look a little bit better. And uh, then we'll be ready to narrow something. And it's too long, it's, uh, it's this long. Uh, I know you can't see it. Uh, down in the vise. Here, I'll just get it out. So it's too long. But uh, I don't know um, how long to make it yet. I imagine it's about uh, an inch too long, maybe a little more than an inch. Let's see. Maybe you can tell me. It's uh, about six and a 
six and uh, three eighths inches long now. A little over three eighths, maybe just under six or yeah, just under six and a half inches long. So how long should it be? All right. My wife is uh, bringing my grandson over. She just got her hair. Is it done or fixed? I didn't see anything wrong with it. But her and my daughter get together every month and uh, get the hair done or fixed. All right, there she is. Will it knurl? Mm -hmm. Gotta try it. We gotta figure out how to knurl. Let's put this baby together. Here are the parts. The only thing remaining to do before I call it good on this is to um, get a nice uh, surface finish on my tool holder, on my knurl holder, and um, cut it to the right length, but I just don't know what the right length is going to be yet. So, first the spacer, then the scissor, And my 4140 washer. I didn't uh, uh, countersink the um, the um, socket head cap screw into the washer because I don't have enough uh, thickness on the washer. If I'd have made the washer thicker, I could have countersucked the cap screw, but uh, I'm not sure what that really gains me because I don't I, I don't uh, lose any width. I mean it's a thicker washer, or and uh, can't see the cap screw, or you can see the cap screw and a thinner washer. So I'm not sure about that. If I build another one, I'll do some heavy thinking on that. I might build this arm thicker, like this. And that way, I could I could sink uh, not only the uh, count and a uh, thicker uh, washer too, and uh, thicker like this. And that way, I could not only countersink the uh, socket head cap screw into the washer, I could sink the washer into the scissor arm. I don't know if that gains me anything. My one piece adjustment screw started off as a point as a piece of 0.875 uh, uh, 12L14 the first thing I did was uh, mill the uh, the head and then I turned the uh, that 0.875 diameter down to uh, 3 8 and cut these cut that 3 8 24 thread I could have used a piece of, uh, of uh, three quarter inch uh, diameter 12L14, but I didn't have one. So I wasted a little bit, I suppose. And this pen is too long. I don't, I'm either going to find a, a shorter one or figure out a good way to make this one shorter. This, this is a dowel pen, it's pretty hard. I'm not quite sure how to make it shorter. Like maybe I can just stick it in a saw and cut it. One thing I like to do is fumble around on camera. There we go. All right. 
than my big innovation, this uh, 82 degree thrust washer. I built this because without it, this nut would be, uh, which it would have an 80, it does have an 82 degree chamfer on it, but it would be uh, on down, would um, fit down into this uh, 82 degree chamfered uh, hole and uh, I would be turning the nut against the uh, the 82 degree uh, chamfered hole and that seems like a lot of unnecessary force with uh, with this thrust washer it fits down there on the in the 82 degree chamfered hole just like that but it has a flat surface up here and it mates with the flat surface on the nut and the nut uh, turns against that flat surface and there's uh, less uh, uh, force, less friction applied. That's the theory. And after I determine what the widest practical workpiece is that I can uh, um, uh, neural with this, I will uh, cut the tool, the scissor.